on you, you could drop five or ten dollars in a casino in two minutes. But instead, put some of that money into someone's hand because they made you smile. Who put a big smile on their face to make their whole day? So many of us here in Las Vegas depend a lot on tips received. They actually make up the majority of the income for most of us that are working here in town. So show that love when you can. A little bit really does go a long way. Now, coming up here on our right, we have the M&M's World, where you can get your very own personalized M&M's. Now, check this out. Ready? Inside the M&M's World, they have a theater where you can watch a video on how the red M&M lost his M at the blackjack table. And he has to go on a big adventure to try to get his M back. So I'm not going to tell you how the film ends, because I want you to go in there inside and check it out. But it's really cool. Go see how the red M&M got his M back. Or whether or not he does or not. We just have to wait and see to be continued. Now the big Coca-Cola bottles on the corner is the elevator that takes you up to the Outback Steakhouse. They also have the Coca-Cola store. Now I'm not sure if you guys here have all noticed, but 90% of the places that are on the strip all serve Pepsi. And I am a Coca-Cola drinker. I love my Coca-Cola. They say, oh come on now, you can't tell the difference. And personally, and I'm very sorry if I offend, okay, I think the only ones who cannot tell the difference are my Pepsi drinking friends. But every once in a while, I get a fantastic glass of cola because it's Coke and they're in denial. Ever since I was very young, to me, Pepsi has always tasted like a black Coke. You know, you cracked open the can, you set it on the counter, did not touch it for four hours. That's how they make Pepsi. Now I said that on my tour one day and I had a couple sitting behind me and he starts laughing and his wife says, well should we tell her? I said, tell me what, what's going on? He said, I have been working for Pepsi for the past 45 years. I'm retiring in two months, this is my final vacation. I said, that is amazing, congratulations. Now you can start drinking Coke. Now don't get me wrong, if I go to a bar on the strip and I order rum and coke and they hand me rum and Pepsi, as long as there's enough rum at that point, I really don't care. Not drinking it for the soda at that point. Now coming up on our right, we'll have our stop, our normal stop for the Hawaiian Marketplace. You'll see it is blocked off through the construction. Davidson Motorcycle Cafe, where you can uh, enjoy the, some of the best barbecue in Las Vegas. Now, you can get a barbecue dinner for two people, including your appetizer, and it is only going to cost you $40, and it really is enough food for forks or portions are just ridiculous. Now, coming up here on our right, we're going to have our Hero Kamal Shops of Planet Hollywood. This is about a mile and a half of shopping fun. So you can shop till you drop, stop and get a bite to eat, and go shop some more. Now the billboard that sits there above the ball is the world's largest digital billboard. It is 306 feet long. Now that is six feet longer than a football field, if you think about it. And it sits right there above our Miracle Mile shops. Now my theory on shopping Las Vegas is pretty simple. Let's say that you start out in a casino with $20. And then you build it up to $200. Cash it out. Put that 20 right back in your pocket where it started. And go shopping. Get $180 worth of stuff for free. Come on, everybody likes free, right? Even the guys will shop for free. Now we know it's easy to get turned around and lost when you go on our big resorts and the big malls that we have. Quick little trick that works wonders. The next time you go into one of these places, simply pull out your camera or your cell phone and take a quick picture of something that was there by the door that you went in. Maybe there's a certain shop, a restaurant, a poker room, a bar, something. Take a picture of that. And then when you cannot seem to find your way out, find a security guard. Because security guards are some of the only employees who roam the entire property. They know where everything's at. Show them that picture, they'll be able to get you out that door you came in, and you'll be a little less lost when you finally hit the street. Saves a lot of time and a big old headache at the end, that's for sure. 
Now, next year we're going to have our uh, Paris. Our Eiffel Tower is a half scale replica of the real one. Now, they wanted it to be an exact replica. We were told that we were way too close to the airport to pull it off. So, it is half size. They have a nice restaurant towards the bottom and a beautiful observation deck out on the top. Now it's $14 during the day and $22 at night to get up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. But from there you'll get breathtaking views of those Bellagio Fountains up here on Electricoff Street. Now they stop every 30 minutes during the day starting at 3 o'clock and then every 15 minutes after 7. Now coming up over here on our right, we're at Bally's once more. Now here in front of Bally's, they've opened up these grand bazaar shops. This is where you'll find one of our sugar factories here in town. Now sugar factories where you can get yourself the couture pop. And that is a regular old 25 cent lollipop. Okay, but they have been completely set of the stick in crystal. So it's now a $25 lollipop. Yeah. Tastes just like the corner ones, I promise. It's kind of like a social status thing. When the rich and famous come to Vegas, so run over to Sugar Factory and get their pictures taken with their couture pop. They say, look, I'm a sucker, pay $25 for a sucker, take my picture. Of course, I can't say too much. I have a couture pop. Although mine was given to me as a gift, I did pay $12.50 for free sucker refills. So I guess I